Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I am joined by Christy Shaves, and I am so excited to dive into this conversation today because there are so many good little nuggets we're going to talk about today. So, Christy, welcome to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Amy. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you, and what do you do? <laughs> Well, I had a very unique upbringing where my mom is a master coach and has a movement and mindfulness business for over 50 years. So I grew up even as a child at age 13, going to eight hour meditation workshops and embodied leadership workshops. And so it just really, truly, I grew up in this world of personal development. And all I knew as a child from both my parents was what do you want to do in life? Who do you want to be? Who are you? Who do you want to keep becoming? And that just really this message of that you have everything inside of you and just really it's about keep coming home to yourself. So I became a coach nine years ago, not planning to just someone approached me and was like, Can you teach my son what you've done with your life and how you've become the person you are. And it's been the greatest journey, honestly, being able to assist people. And specifically, I work a lot with women and with moms of really how to grow their income, their business, and all of that, and maintain a deep and loving, fulfilling family life, and really how to feel at peace with being able to do both. And I really got to see my parents do that. And um, yeah, it's just been the greatest journey, truly, so... And it really is a journey. And I love how you're helping people make that journey fulfilling, living that fulfilling life, because we get into these habits where we're just in doing mode that we forget life's meant to be lived. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. And so tell us for moms that are really struggling with all of the things, life, balance, kids, work. There's so many things. How do we even start to get that that balance back? Is balance a thing? How do we find that? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing about balance is I think a lot of times people think of balance as an even, right? Like if I'm balanced, I'm even in every area of my life. But I always tell the, my clients and the moms I work with that balance is like a beautiful song. And are you playing all the different instruments, the amount that that instrument needs to be played, that it makes this beautiful song. And that's what I really think of life balance is that through every single day and every week and every year, you're going to go through different phases where different things are needed. More of your time and attention is needed in different areas of your life. But the key is not dropping one area of your life, not neglecting yourself, not not showing up for maybe your marriage in a way that would feel really good to you. Like there's all these areas of how to keep the rest of your life moving while still thinking of it as like, am I tapping into all the different areas of my life at the same time? And I think that the biggest thing, you know, I really see with moms is they have this idea of what life is going to be like as a mom. You have this picture of when you stepped into motherhood, this is what life is going to be like. And this is how my kids should be. And it's all these ideas of that. You have an idea of how life should go. And that honestly, it is those ideas that create challenge and pain in your life. And if you actually just accepted the reality that you're living right now, you would actually have so many more ideas of actually how to navigate it, how to make it even more fulfilling and nourishing for you. Oh, so good. And that I love that analogy. That is a beautiful analogy <laughs> because it is, you know, you can be playing these different notes, but if you're not playing the right notes together, you don't have a beautiful song. So that is the perfect analogy. 
<laughs> and let's dive into two. You talked about how we have this idea before we become moms. And I'm right there with you because before I became a mom, my idea of motherhood and the reality of motherhood are two totally different things. Yeah. And just learning to accept it for what it is yeah. without being judgmental. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah. So yeah. How, it takes how a lot you, of faith. Yeah. How do we get past that? How do we get to the accepting of, okay, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I really see that truly acceptance of what is, is what allows us to free ourselves from anything in life, not just parenthood, but any experience you're having and that it really is, you know, I've done a lot of my own work and learning of just how our mind works and how the subconscious works and how our nervous system works, but also just this idea of that there's reality of what's actually happening. It's like accurately reporting. It's the facts of what's actually happening. And then the first step to acceptance is just noticing what are all the thoughts that you're creating about your reality? What are all the ideas that you're creating about your experience? Because it's the thoughts that you have in reaction to your reality that then create the feelings and the reactions in our body that then get us in places of stuckness. So really the first step to being able to accept what is, is just being able to be really honest about, Hey, I have all these ideas of how life should be. And I I'm owning it. It's like owning where we do do that is actually what frees us from that cycle over and over again. And I have all my clients do this a lot. It's called a conscious rant where you consciously rant for like five minutes a day. And you just say everything you don't like that's happening in your life, like everything you feel really frustrated about. But what that's doing is it's actually allowing you to own, like, I don't like things and that's okay. And I'm just admitting that I don't like it. And then when we can admit it and own it, then we can actually give ourselves freedom to accept and look at what do I want to do with this? How do I want to move and navigate with my life as a result of this? That is an awesome, awesome idea. And it makes sense though, because you're letting it out. You're getting it out. You're stopping those, those thought patterns that a lot of times until you do that, until you read it, you may not even realize some of these things that yeah. are, are pent up inside because so many times we're trying to to show up and pour into everyone else and be someone that we're not, that unless we're aware of what's really going on inside, how can yeah. we even start to change? But yeah, that, that acceptance is creating that freedom and it's mm -hmm. getting us towards success. So as, mm -hmm. as moms, you know, being successful as a parent, as a business owner, Success is, I think, you know, something that we're all striving for. What keys can you give us to success? The first thing with success that I think is really important is not waiting until you have the tangible thing and experience to experience success. So the truth is success is a feeling inside of you. That's what everything that we want in life is really we're desiring a state of being we're desiring a feeling and so a lot of times we think oh if i'm here in my business then i get to feel good if i'm if my kids are doing great and they're doing well in school and they're happy then i get to feel good as a mom but the way i see success is why are you waiting until that happens to feel good? Because you have a hundred percent control over how you feel in every single moment. And so the first way for really being able to be successful, I see in life is to recognize that the success is not outside of you. And it is just your mind creating a wall between you and being able to feel it. But when we just, again, bring in that allowance, that acceptance of, wow, how would feeling successful in my business feel like? And really letting yourself embody it. And I'm personally very big on somatic work because our subconscious and our unconscious is all in our body. And that's actually what allows us to move towards what we want in physical life easier. So it's really about being able to feel that 
I am successful just as I am. I don't need the income or certain things to feel successful. And then from there, you can actually take action towards what it would be to create that on the physical plane. Oh my gosh. So good. And I love how you said it takes practice because, you know, it's not like you just wake up one day and you're like, I'm just going to feel successful. You've got to keep at it. And it is that awareness of, you know, in your mind, because it's already within you, like you said, Yeah, and it's your mind that's really creating the success. And you do have control. You have control in that moment. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's why, you know, becoming more familiar with your body and the more you can get doing like somatic work and doing really movement, really being able to feel inside your body and be in tune. And this is what I see for moms is that it's making time like that, being able to access that feeling of success inside of you comes from your connection with yourself. And so if you don't make time to connect with yourself, then it makes it really hard. Then you become in the rat race of life of needing to get to the next thing to get that hit of feeling, but then it goes away. Yeah. Because a lot of times we prioritize everything else above ourselves and we don't make the time. How do you Mm -hmm. find the time in your busy schedule to fit it in? How do you make those pockets of time? it's an, I think of it as like, it is a part of my well being. It is like drinking water. It is part of what I need to do to feel good and think good and all of it. And, and again, I think that people have this illusion that it needs to be a lot of time, but the truth is to really regulate our bodies and our nervous systems and to come back home to connecting inside. You don't need a lot of time. You can even just spend five minutes, like placing your hand on your heart and just breathing and just feeling what you're feeling inside of you. But for me personally, I plan it. I put it in my calendar, like I would any other thing and any other appointment. And I've always done it. And if that means waking up early, if that means when I would normally be on a lunch doing something, I just make it a high priority for me or in my evenings, you know, I tend to not watch TV or like that. I just make a priority. Like my job is to connect inside to taking care of myself and coming home. And it's not just exercising. And it's also not just meditating. It's really about building a relationship with myself and really discovering what that is. Oh, yes. And it it almost becomes a non-negotiable. Like you said, I have to schedule it too, because if it's not a part of my day, if I'm not making that intentional change, I'm going to have 20 other things that pop up, you know, I'm going to see the, the random sock in the middle of the floor that needs picked up. I'm going to see that, all right, there's dishes that got thrown in the sink by my kids. You know, there's so many distractions being intentional throughout the day. It, you you can plan for it and make it a non-negotiable. You're making that a choice. And I love mm-hmm. how you say it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. Yeah. It's yeah. not, okay, Absolutely. I'm just going to leave my home for a day and go to Mexico on vacation for a week. You know, yeah. it's it's the constant. It's the repeated everyday habits. I love yeah. that. I love that. Absolutely. And that Absolutely. really helps us start to then get success, feel success, embody success. Mm-hmm. That's that's where the change is occurring. It's in all these little day things that we're doing. Christy, this is amazing information that you shared with our community today. Where can we learn more? Absolutely. Yeah. And thank you so much. This is so fun to share about it. I love it. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram at Christy Shaws and um, contact me there. And I have lots of awesome programs and embodied leader program. And it's really just all about this, about being able to really be in your body, be at home, and also being able to actually tangibly create more success relationally and in business. I love it. So ladies, success is already within you. Christy is here to help you discover (laughs) that, to pull it out, to make you know that it is there. 
So until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 